Hello and welcome to All Irish Sport. I'm delighted to be joined by Shamrock Rovers manager Stephen Bradley. Uh, Stephen, it's a cold, frosty morning here. It's, uh, you've you've come off the back of just winning the President's Cup and you're gearing up to the first game of the League of Ireland season for uh, 2024 against Dundalk. How are you feeling? How's pre-season been? You've got some new signings in, so just from your own point of view, how's things been? Yeah, it's been good. Pre-season has been good. Um, players have worked hard as normal. Um, we haven't had a lot of injuries, which is really important, obviously. Um, we just uh, had the President's Cup last week and the players showed good signs in that. So uh, we're looking forward to, to getting going on Friday and, and it all starts again. Talk to me about some of the signings. You've got Aaron Mack coming back. I, I, I suppose I'd, I'd ask you about him first, but you've got Josh Honohan scored on uh, Friday night. You've got Dara Burns who looked sharp as well. I think he's coming back to the league with a point to prove as well. So just kind of on them, um, how have they kind of settled in and, and what was uh, your ambition to get someone like Aaron Mack back? Yeah, I've been speaking to Aaron uh, for quite some time um, when when he's been away. So it was uh, when I knew the opportunity to get him back. It was it was a no-brainer from us, and and Aaron had options, but he, he was adamant he wanted to come here. So um, we we all know what type of player Aaron is and what he brings to us. So uh, we're, we're absolutely delighted to get him back, and, and we're looking forward to getting him back on the pitch. Dara Bournes is someone I tried to sign before he went to MK, and um, I've always liked his style. I've always liked his hunger. Um, he brings a completely different aspect to what we have, which I really like. Um, but I love his attitude. He's come in with a real attitude to work hard and be part of the group. Uh, and Josh is one we watched for quite some time um, closely. And, and he's one we feel has uh, really, really good attributes. And he has a really high ceiling. And, and, and we feel we can help him uh, reach that ceiling. Um, here at Shamrock Rovers. And obviously you've you've got some players back in then um, who you had obviously in and around the group before you have Johnny Kenny, you've got um, uh, Trevor Clarks come in I think he's going to sign them permanently after the loan initially so it's good to get someone like him back and you saw obviously his quality on Friday night. Yeah, it was uh, it was great to get Johnny back. Uh, we, we really like Johnny, uh, we like his attributes, uh, really good person and uh, we're delighted to get Johnny back. Um, Trevor's one that we was here before, obviously we sold him and and uh, we got him back on the loan and, and we're delighted now to get him on a permanent, which you can see on Friday what he brings to us, Trevor. Last year he was nursing an injury, this year he's, he's free from that, which is great, so I'm sure we'll see, he scored two on Friday, I'm sure we'll see a lot more of that from Trevor as the season goes on. And, and Marcus is, is a top player, we know Marcus, what he brings, he's a top international player. And uh, his deal was a little bit complex. Took took a long time, but thankfully we got it done in the end. Yeah, you kind of if you're if you're looking at obviously coming into the uh, this, this season now, I mean, you probably got a lot of your signings done quite late. And I'd say fans were kind of going like, "What's going on here?" You know, we haven't signed anyone. But now, if you actually look at the squad that you have, I was speaking to Glenn just kind of earlier on today. I was speaking to Dara Burns as well. It's just the squad that you've assembled. You you know. I've often said it to you after games how your squad often has often won you games, uh, your subs coming on real strength to, to bring into a game that you may be losing or you may be drawn but just to kill the game. Yeah. How important was that to kind of get, the, and again you're bringing in players that you know as yeah. well, so how important was it to, to get those over the line and were you ever I suppose worried or did you know that you were going to get these signings kind of quite late on? No look I think first of all we, we've had to work extremely hard to get to this point with this group because We've had to sell players throughout the year and then reinvest back in the group um, to, to get to a point where we can have a strong squad. Regarding the players signing late, a, a lot of the players we knew had agreed in November or December, but when, like I said, when, when you're dealing with clubs and it's long moves, it's complex, it's not straightforward. Uh, people think it just happens within a phone call and it's done. There's a lot of legal that goes into it and you have to respect that and, and understand that the club that, um, that own the player at that moment of time are in control and you've got to respect that. And, but when, you, when you've dealt with the player and you've dealt with the agent and to the club in most cases and you know the player wants to come and it's all lined up, well then you're, you're pretty uh, calm. We know um, we didn't get a lot of them signed on, on the dotted line until late, but they were, a lot of them were agreed very early on. And just um, coming into this season then, um, you know, obviously you're going for the five in a row. Yeah, congratulations on the four in a row. I don't think I actually was, was speaking to you since then, but uh, you know, it's a huge achievement that has only done, been done once before. And then, you know, coming into this season, I know Europe's been a big thing for you and wanting to do well in Europe. And you obviously got a taste for it a couple of seasons ago. And, and that was huge for the league. And I was saying to Glenn as well, just how important, you know, it is for Irish clubs to get into Europe. But also it is quite hard. Um, you, you know, we're, we're constantly fighting battles, as you know, um, within 
facilities and stuff luckily enough you guys have quite a good setup here but in terms of the squad that you have going into this uh, this summer you should be feeling confident in my opinion I don't know how you feel but I'd be looking at what squad you've assembled and saying you've a real chance of, of doing well in Europe this year yeah, well that has to be the aim we, we felt uh, we didn't perform at all in Europe last year we obviously got knocked out but I think what, what people have to understand when you're in Europe because they're not household names that you're playing against people don't respect that they're good teams but nine times out of ten, you're playing against really good teams with, with top level players, and and uh, we seen that with Brady Blick last year. We went and watched them, and you could see straight away they were really, really clever on what they did and and how they did it. Now we still should have performed better, and and uh, if certain things had fell into place, I still think we could have won that toy. But overall, we we didn't perform to our level. You're playing against a good team, they beat you. So you have to understand when you're playing in Europe, like I said. I, because you're not playing against a Liverpool or Man United, people don't know them. They don't respect that they're a good team. Um, and that's the general public. And I, I understand that to a certain extent, but we've got to know that you're playing against good teams. And uh, look, there's no, no getting away from we didn't perform to our best in Europe last year. That's quite obvious. Uh, we want to get back to where we were two years ago. Um, but you need a lot of things. You need injuries to be kind to you around that time. Um, you need the draw to be kind to you and, and, and them games then it comes down to the small details and, and fine margins and hopefully uh, everything falls into place for us when that comes around but like from I agree with you there but from the point of view of like obviously um, you know fans and, and going to these different destinations and stuff like that it must have been like when you think back I know maybe it didn't probably go to plan in terms of results but it was such a to be in the group stages and be able to go to places like Genk and stuff like that and, and, and compete I thought you were competitive in games obviously look the league was a priority at the time but like to get a taste that surely you're thinking now it would be amazing to get it back there and I think it was good for the league as a whole and, and as a country because all eyes were then on seeing an Irish team doing well and it was on TV and everything like that yeah look that's our aim like I said that's that's where we want to be every year we want to be sitting uh, at that table every year in Europe we want to be going to these places and, and playing games and I feel if we if we can get there and manage to get there again, I think uh, the group's in a really strong place to be able to attack it on, on both fronts, domestically and Europe. And, and we obviously couldn't do that at that point in time, but I feel this group's in, in the place to do that. But it takes so much to get there, you know, like I said, there's no hiding away from the fact that that's where we want to be. But it, it, it takes a lot to get there. And, 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 and because of cup competition, if you're not your best and you're playing against good sides, uh, you get beat. So we've got to make sure when that time comes around that that we're at our best and, and give ourselves the best opportunity to, to go and uh, compete and play at them levels. Yeah, I think you're giving yourself the best opportunity though because as you said, you've got international players and international level players there um, within the squad um, and even players that have been on the fringes. I know Stephen Kenny was looking at Neil Farouja as a player that could come in there as well. So you do have international level players and how, how key is that going to be then for domestically uh, for you to try and get that five in a row? Because I imagine that's that's ultimately going to be your what you want to achieve as, as a manager to, to create history and for the team yeah we do we, we want to be better than last year so that means domestically obviously win the league again can we go on win the cup and do better in Europe there's no getting away from that's what we want to do but we understand again it takes a lot to do that like you know and uh, we have the group but I think we had a strong group last year but you look at Europe then we're missing all our wing backs and it becomes a completely different game and a completely different ask to go and win that game then so um, we're missing key attributes at an important time so uh, we have the group right now and we're hoping it stays that way and, and we make no bones that we want to we want to go and be better than what we were last year but there, there's so many aspects that go into actual that happening and um, what we have to be really careful of as a club is that we don't co become complacent with winning winning is difficult and it's hard and and uh, because we've done it now for quite some time, people just expect us to win it, but we've no divine right to go and win anything. Uh, or, or play in European group stage, we've no divine right to do anything. So uh, a lot of hard work, we want to do it, and we're not shying away from that, but uh, we need so much to fall into place for that to happen. Mm. Just lastly, uh, you've, you've won the President's Cup last Friday, you know, it was just a taste to try and get, you know, you played, you know, there was a lot of players from your first team you know, usually that weren't obviously uh, playing. I don't know whether you rest them or not. You, you, you probably keep that to yourself. But this is a huge game now. Obviously on Friday night, you want to hit the ground running against Dundalk. You know, there's a, there's a little bit of a rivalry over the years because there was, you know, um, rivals at the top of the league and stuff like that. So how key would it be for you then to get a win just to, to kickstart the season for yourself? 
Uh, it's it's really important. You, you can get three points on the board as soon as possible. We we did manage to do that last year for quite some time, and and we obviously gave ourselves a mountain to climb. Um, and we don't want that to be the case uh, this year. We want to, as soon as we can, put three points on the board, and and that starts on Friday. I think a lot of people are talking quite negative about Dundalk and and uh, the squad and everything else. I know Stephen and Patrick really well. I've lived with them. I've played with them. The two really good football people that will have them dark ready. They they recruited well from Scotland. They they know the market. They know players. Um, we want to go and get three points on the board as soon as possible. And hopefully that's Friday. But we also know that we're we're against the team that will be really well organised and and would come over again and plant the horse. Well, Stephen, I know you're going to be fine if I keep you any longer. I want to say thanks very much for your time. Best Thank of luck you. on Friday. Thank you. All right.